Good morning traders, welcome to the morning update. This is Wednesday the 31st of May, the final trading day of the month, and my name is Mark Owen. Okay, so today what have we got? Well, the only major news coming out is at 1.30pm, and that is the um, GDP month on month from Bank of Canada. Uh, it's forecasted to come in at 03 um, what sort of implications is this going to have on the market and the Canadian dollar cross pairs? Uh, my guess will be not very much, uh, predominantly down to the fact that I think the market will be looking and waiting for the ADP numbers tomorrow and non-farm payroll on Friday. However, the major talking point has been around sterling. Uh, last night, late on last night, YouGov uh, released a poll that inst insisted or instigated that the Tories were going to fall short on the majority vote, somewhere in the region of around 16 seats. Um, what this means is that it will be a huge body blow to Theresa May, who basically put in for the snap election last month um, on the premise that she got the majority vote and pushing um, all decisions through Parliament would be uh, significantly easier. However, uh, there seems to be a swing in, let's say, uh, the, the, the voting or what's, what's coming out in terms of the Labour uh, following. There seems to be a, an increase in seats of around, I think, 26 to 28 from Labour, which would put um, it as a hung parliament. Now, the downside to this is that obviously that means that Theresa May and the Tories will lose um, a lot of control or power when it comes to decision making and, pol and policy implementation. So that saw a, a sell off in sterling last night. Um, I would envisage that we should see a further sell off though as I'm speaking we're seeing a bit of a pound rally at the minute so let's have a look at the charts well the dollar index yesterday was an interesting uh, day after we had bank holiday uh, mon Monday for the US and for UK um, then yesterday obviously was the first day in the markets and we saw pretty much a, a decent gap up in the dollar index only to see the market sell off quite significantly um, that was primarily down to some whether it's rumours or or whether it's actually going to be fact uh, regarding the euro and the tapering and easing of monetary policy. Uh, so we saw a, a rally in euro straight after the the initial open when the, we saw that the euro was declining, and this is what we anticipated until um, unfortunately uh, the the rumour or or fact, we don't know yet, um, about the euro. So the question is, what what do we see? Well, technically, I'm still on, on the side that I expect to see uh, dollar strength short-term uh, from structure-based moving back up to resistance, uh, sh short-term correction, um, looking at the commercials and their activity. Um, so yeah, I see short-term correction. However, I'm I'm happy to be proved wrong. Uh, but we'll look at the market uh, trading somewhere up in the region of this 98 area and potentially up into 98.50s this red zone. So we're going to watch this. But do remember, it is non-farm payroll week, so anything can happen. It is going to be a short week. Uh, there's not a lot of action, so don't worry about taking any trades. Uh, just look at the analysis and see what happens and if the charts don't make sense guess what don't place any trades okay so euro dollar um, what you can see yesterday was we saw this market and the market pushed off beautifully after we got a few days of consolidation it finally broke this nice uh, four hourly stroke daily level broke down then the news came out or whether it was a rumor or what we, we don't know we saw that the market then turned on a sixpence um, it moved 40, 50 pips in a minute or something. So if you weren't in front of your screens, you couldn't really react. And then it's a matter of, well, you've got your risk in place. Let's see what happens, and let's let's hope that the the market will will turn and come back in the direction that we anticipate. So euro, this is a sit and wait. Um, if we do drop down to this 1.1 area, this will be an area that we'll be looking to stop and reverse to get long. 
we are currently at all time highs on the short contracts from the commercials so that's a significant stance from the commercials so that is another major reason why we are looking at shorts for euro dollar and euro cross pairs dollar yen well all honesty it doesn't make any sense the readings not good there's no clarity uh, where we currently are so there's no trading on dollar yen uh, sterling oh forgive me um, let me just we'll, we'll come back to sterling in a moment okay kiwi so kiwi this is one that we called uh, a couple of weeks ago with the commitment of traders we got an extreme bullish uh, stance from the commercials buying kiwi um, and, and that signal started to wane off and it started to wane off now because the markets moved a good 250 to 300 pips now so the the commercials have achieved what they were looking for they've got the bullish move um, unfortunately for us although we were calling it it wasn't really giving us any technical entries uh, we have got this um, red zone here that we will be watching for a potential pullback on smaller time frames to trade up towards this trend line however at the trend line we won't be doing anything I won't be selling it uh, if anything I'll be waiting for it to break out and I'll be looking to trade the long signal should we get one uh, dollar CAD um, you can see here that we've moved from 138 all the way down to 134 and just a touch below now there was a 400 and something, 420, 430 pip move in a straight line. Um, do I want to sell currently? Honestly, no. Even though we've probably seen some uh, Canadian strength uh, currently, this isn't a market I want to sell. Why? Uh, it's overextended. Yeah, it's, so it's just time to be patient. Um, it may continue dropping to the 133 and if it does well then those that are in this trade fantastic well done uh, we did capitalize most of this move down um, although not all of it um, we're out now uh, if we are going to trade this market we'll be looking for a pullback into 135 70s in that region there before taking it back down to 133s Okay, so we do have a trading event on June the 14th. Please send in your contact details or click on the link below here at Eventbrite um, and you can reserve your tickets and seats for free. Uh, come and meet the traders. The event starts at 4 p.m. on June the 14th. That's 4 p.m. Um, to 7 p.m. Uh, you'll get to meet some protege guys. You'll meet the team. You'll see how we operate and you'll get to enjoy placing a couple of trades and looking at any sort of potential moves that may be in play for the coming days. Uh, things that you're going to cover at the event will be risk management, technical analysis, uh, a little bit of seasonality, um, emotional feelings and psychology that's involved um, on a day-to-day -day basis, i.e. what's it like to see profit or loss and how do you react to that um, you know these are things that you probably never experience until it comes to trading so guys if you'd like to attend or you think you might know someone who is into trading or potentially would like to trade then what I'd suggest is you share our details with him or drop us an email and one of the team here at Phoenix Blue would be happy to contact uh, don't forget like us on Facebook um, like us on YouTube all at Phoenix Blue Trading, Instagram the same. Um, please share and like all our content. If you've got any questions on what we would like to uh, to look at or cover, please do so, and we'll we will be happy to um, look after your requests. Okay, guys, have a great day. Thank you, and bye bye.